Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to program new flashboard. New flashboard is consisted with two parts: an LED matrix, which is eight times twenty-four LEDs, and a PIR motion sensor. We're gonna make it into a motion monitor. The basic function is breathing LED after reboot. Enter the detection mode once the PIR detected any object passing nearby. One LED light up. Button press to turn off all of the LEDs. Let's see how to wear the new flash. Just plug the curving growth cable into part B. The other one, which is straight, is used for I2C part extension. Open up UI Flow. At beginning, the breathing LED after reboot. The breathing LED is actually the very brightness. From low to high and from high to low, over and over again. Load in new pixel unit and choose part B. The total number is eight times twenty-four, which is one hundred and ninety-two. Hit OK. Here we have the new pixel block inside the unit. Drag in this block. We can guess the function just by its name. This is for setting color first. We can set the color to black, same as turn off the LED. In order to realize the brazing LED, we need a loop. Hit loops. As we can see, there are five blocks here. We choose the first one, fixed loop times, ten times by default. That is to say, any blocks inside this loop would repeat ten times. Drag in this block for light up all of the LEDs. Default color is red. Of course, you can change it to other colors. And then drag in this block for brightness setting. Technically, we can set the brightness from zero to two fifty five, but if the LED brightness is too high and we have plenty of them on, it might need higher power supply. Our test result is a hundred and ninety two LEDs brightness set at two hundred. Two hundred will consume power at ten watts. Now let's back to programming. We use this block for setting brightness, but in every single loop, the brightness is a hundred and it's not changing. We don't want the brightness to stay still all the time, so here we need a variable to replace a hundred. We can create and load variable here. Click create variable, name it as J. Now we can see their mob blocks show up. They are all related to this. Variable. We use this J to replace the brightness value. By now, the brightness is still stay the same, but since we have this J, we can make it variable by giving him different values. Drag in the setting block and give him an initialized value. Put it underneath the setup. Then make the value plus one in every single loop, and give the value back to J like a counter. By now we can see J is increased by one after every single loop, so that the brightness is increasing gradually. That's how we realize the breathe LED. In order to make the increasing visible, we add a delay here for fifty milliseconds. That was the breathe in for breathe out. It is the same process. Just make the value j minus one in every loop. At last, after one round of breathe in and out, we turn off all of the LEDs. By now, we have finished the first step. Let's jump to the second step to detect is there any object move close to the PIR sensor. If it is true. Light up an LED for indication. Let's go find PIR. It's inside the unit. Choose part B. Here we can see inside the PIR, the block is to get the detection result of the sensor. If the sensor detected something pass by, PIR will return a value one. If not, then return zero. What we do is to use the block to get that return value. Now we add a loop for this part, and this loop will last forever. 
inside the loop, we put an if else statement. If else is a um, conditional structure. If the statement behind if is true, execute the statement inside if, or execute the statement inside else. The statement followed by if is to judge if the value returned from PIR is 1. Yes, let up 1 LED. We create another variable k, set it to 1 at beginning, put it underneath setup, so that we can use k to let up the LEDs one by one. For better presentation, every time when PIR equals one, we set the brightness and color into a random number. Every time k increased by one, another LED will let up. and delay two seconds. After finish the two previous step, we're gonna program the last part. If the return value is zero, under this circumstance, detect if the button is pressed. Yes, turn off all of the LEDs. And set K to one so that next time, when PIR equals 1, the LED will be lit up from the beginning.